Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to learn about multiple target assignments, which means we can use multiple variables and assign them to one object. Um, so that's what we're going to learn in today's tutorial. All right, so let's take a look at that. Do Python 3. All right, fire up our interpreter, and this is what it's going to look like. Balls. Oops, sorry. Balls. Uh, assigned to strikes is assigned to outs assigned to hit assigned to foul assigned to the value of zero all right or the object zero hit return and then we can call balls strikes and so on they're all zero all right cool well guess what uh, that's all I had to show you today's tutorial but since uh, this was so short and you're probably wondering when the heck would I use a multiple target assignment uh, we're gonna build a little program you guys can stop here if you just got what you needed with the multiple uh, target assignment otherwise you can follow along with us and we'll build a little baseball game so um, I'm gonna get out of my interpreter there we go get out of my interpreter I'm gonna open up my text editor all right I'm in a, I'm a new file. I'm going to create a new file and save it to my desktop as baseball.py. Once it decides it wants to do this. Wow. It's slow as hell. There we go. It's on desktop. And we're going to save it as baseball.py. All right. So there we go. We got our, our file set up. Now, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to import random because in our baseball game what we're going to do is we're going to have a list of batters and it's going to go through the list of batters and the game is going to actually randomly pick what happens on each pitch all right so we need a way to use random python has python has a uh, module called random which will randomly select uh, a choice because we're going to provide it a choice and it's randomly going to select that. So we got to import that module. So I'll import random. All right. Uh, I want to import one more thing that's time. Uh, what I want to do, the reason I'm importing time is because time has a function called sleep. And we kind of want to delay the execution of our project or our program, I should say, um, just so it doesn't spit out every batter all at once and we can kind of read through it and see what's happening so we're going to import time so we can make it uh, a little bit delayed so we'll import time just like that next we want to add uh, the batters so we're going to use some of the Chicago Cubs from this year since they have uh, won the World Series recently and in here we're going to use a uh, Fowler alright um, Bryant now I'm not sure if all these guys played in the World Series I just grabbed a bunch of Cubs I'm a Phillies fan, not a Cubs fan. So, uh, Russell uh, Hayward, uh, Ross Baez, and Montero, and uh, throw a pitcher in there Lester I think he's one of their pitchers there we go um, that looks good I think we got nine players all right so we got our batters and they're in a list and we're gonna iterate through this list to um, uh, give each batter a shot unless there's three outs so <clears throat> we'll go through that now we're gonna use our multiple target uh, assignment which we just learned about two seconds ago we're gonna do uh, balls is equal to strikes is equal to outs is equal to uh, hit is equal to foul is equal to zero all right so now we assign ball strikes outs hit foul all with zero all right basically I need to create variables um, before I run my program so I assign them all zero all right because we're going to start out our game with zero ball zero strikes zero outs, zero hits and zero fouls all right so that's what we did there 
Uh, all right. For the first thing we want to do is have a while loop. Um, while something is true, it's going to continue to run. I know if you've been following through our tutorial series, we haven't really talked about while loops, and I'm kind of hiding this tutorial in here because a lot of the users that bounce around isn't going to even see this. But you guys are getting a little. If you're watching this tutorial, you're getting a little, uh, little uh, bonus here. So you're going to learn some cool stuff. So with the while while loop, while th something's true it's going to continue the loop through all right so we're going to say while outs are less than three we want you to do something all right so while that outs are less than three we want you to loop through the batter so for batter in batters all right so here's our batters list right here and then batter is kind of like a temporary variable that will hold the batters uh name if you will and um, it will loop through there all right so we got a for loop we got a while loop and now we're gonna throw another while loop in there while strikes is less than three um, we want you to do something but we want to add more to this and uh, balls are less than four and hit is less than one we want you to do something all right so while all these are true so if we have less than three strikes that's still going to be true if we have less than four balls it's still going to be true and if we have less than one hit it's still going to be true um when we use the ends and a n d if we use end in here uh if one of these becomes uh true or false i'm sorry this while loop will break all right so if we get three strikes, the while loop is going to break and it's no longer going to run. All right. So that's what we're doing there. Now we're going to add uh, a variable called pitch and we're going to assign that to the random choice. What random choice is a computer going to spit out to us? And we're going to give the random choice some choices to choose from. All right. So in here, we're going to create a list and we're going to have a strike. All right. So a pitch can be a strike, or we're going to have a ball, so a pitch can be a ball. We're going to have a hit, so a pitch can result in a hit, or we're going to have a foul, and the pitch can result in a foul. All right, so in there, that's what we got, and now the computer, when we go through the while loop, each time, if we spell choice right, each time it's going to go through and choose a different um, choice here. And we don't know what's going to choose. It's just going to choose it randomly. Okay. So uh, next thing we want to do, we want to print the count, like how many balls, how many strikes, how many outs. So we'll just put a print statement here, and we'll put in here the count. The count is, and then we're going to use the uh, format uh, method in Python. So we got x amount of balls. And then we got X amount of strikes. And then we have X amount of outs. Then we'll do a dot format. And in here we'll do uh, balls, strikes, and outs. Just like that. All right. And there are variables that we made, uh, assigned up here. Okay. Now I hit return again. And then down here we're going to add another print statement. This time it's going to be print. Uh, what was the last pitch? So the last pitch, and then so we'll add our curly braces and two, and then who's the batter? Because we'd like to know who the batter was at that time. Um, so we'll do format again, format, and then we'll do uh, pitch and batter. There you go. So we're using the temporary variable from the for loop, and we're using uh the pitch variable from the random choice. All right. So next we're going to do a if statement. If something's true, do something. So if pitch is uh, equal to hit. So if the choice was hit, we wanted to do something. So we're going to say hit and then we're going to do plus equal one to count one up. So if we got one, if we got a hit, now hit's going to be one. All right. So and if hits one, this for loop will break, and then it will go to the next batter. All right. 
So we're just going to put a print statement here just to know that they got a hit. So we know what's going on. When this thing runs, you'll be able to count um, the strikes and balls, but you won't see if someone gets a hit. So we got to throw a print statement in there. Now we need to do an elif. <clears throat> if pitch is equal to uh, strike, we want it to do something. So here we're going to say strikes is now plus equal one. So we want strikes to count up. Strikes before our program runs is zero. And then if they pitch a strike, then it's going to count up one. And then once you get the three strikes, a while the loop breaks and it goes to the next batter. All right. Um, now we're going to do another elif. And this one's going to be pitch is equal to balls. And the same thing. Balls is plus equal one. All right. And then the next one is elif. This one's gonna be a little different. Pitch is equal equal to uh, foul and strikes is less than two. We are gonna do something. So if the pitch is equal to foul and strikes is less than two, we're gonna add a strike. And the reason for that being is you cannot strike out on a foul ball in baseball if you have two strikes, unless you're bunting. But that's just a little bit more complicated than I feel like writing today, so we're just going to leave it at that. All right. And the next one would be, uh, this, is, this one's kind of optional. We really don't need to add this. But for completion's sake, and you guys can see what's going on, we'll do uh, LF pitch equal equal to foul. Uh, we're just going to do something and we're just going to pass. All right. We're just going to say continue on basically just pass this one because we aren't going to add a strike and we're not going to add a ball or anything. So just pass, pass on this. We really don't need to include this. We can take it out, but for completion's sake, and you guys can see how I did that. That's what we'll do. Uh, the next one is going to be an else statement and here we'll do a print, um, failed. All right. Uh, we're just printing this if something failed in here. We shouldn't get this message because it shouldn't fail because we covered every possibility. We got if it's a hit, then do something. If it's a strike, then do something. If it's ball, oh, that's not going to work. That's got to be ball. Um, so change balls to ball. So if we get a ball, do something. If it's a foul and less than two strikes, add a strike. And if it's a foul with two or more strikes, then uh, just pass. And then you shouldn't get a failed message, hopefully. Uh, I'm kind of shooting off the side. Uh, off, just shooting off the top of my head right now. So anyway, um, then we're going to add one down here. Uh, we're going to add our time dot sleep to... Uh, like two seconds so it will wait two seconds before it runs the next process which would be another loop through the while statement here so we'll just put two so it's a little bit easier for us to read what's going on all right um i'm gonna hit return again and we're gonna come back one under the while statement here we're gonna put an if statement we're gonna say if hit is equal equal to one then we need you to do something and we're going to set hit. Um, here's another target assignment. Um, we're going to set hit balls and oops, see, strikes to zero. Because after you get hit, uh, balls and strikes go back to zero. And we run reset hit so the while loop runs again. If we kept it at one, it wouldn't run again, right? So we just want to reset hit. All right, hit return. Um, now what we got, all right, we're going to run another if statement under the for loop and this one we're going to run if strikes is equal equal to three, then we're going to do outs plus equal one. All right. So we're going to count the outs if there's three strikes. Let me uh, actually put a space there. All right, so we're going to count the outs um, 
So when we get the three outs, this while loop breaks and our program's done running. So we want to count the outs. We also, if there's three strikes, just to confirm, we want to uh, reset the strikes and balls. So we'll just do strikes balls equal to zero and then we can do uh, elif balls is equal equal to four so if we have four balls it's a walk uh, we'll do strikes is equal to balls is equal to zero and then here's another else statement that we really don't need to include but I will just for completion's sake we'll do con continue and then we'll do uh, down here under the first while loop. When that one breaks and stops running, we want to run print game over. There you go. All right, so now we should have a good uh, half an inning of baseball here. So let's see how this works. Hopefully it works. Hopefully we get no errors. So let's do uh, Python 3. Uh, baseball.py and hopefully we have no huh, got failed so it's going through I think it's working it's been a lot of hits, our pitcher stinks Kind of failed. I don't know why we get failed. We shouldn't be getting failed. Kill this for a second. Oh, let me go back check the code. We shouldn't be getting a failed. Ah, uh, yeah. These are supposed to be capital F's. Whoops. Ball strike. Foul hit hit. All right, that should fix our issue there. And I'm also going to change this to our time to sleep to one second because that was taking a little too long for my liking. Anywho, let's go ahead and run this program again and see what happens. Now we shouldn't see any failed messages. Uh, uh, uh. Waiting for our first out. There's another hit. Right. Oh, we got an out. Yeah. I think Howard sh or Hayward struck out. Going through, going through. Two outs. There we go. We just want to make sure it fails at three outs and says game over. There we go. It's our third out. Game over. So there's your little half of an inning baseball game. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. I have no idea what we're going to be talking about then. So have a nice day.